Hey, Virgo, your ex has something they want to say to you. Okay. Your ex has something that they want or need to say to you. If you're not interested in hearing this, hearing this message from your ex, please don't watch. Okay. I know some of you like to hear from the exes. Some of you don't. If you don't, no problem. Don't watch. Okay. What does your ex need to say to you? What does your ex need to say to you? Please understand that I need space right now. I need space. Uh, you're possibly looking for some answers, especially if this is a, is a, 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 a recent breakup and you're hurting and you're seeking answers. You know, they need space. Okay. They just need that space. And I kind of feel like other uh, signs may be uh, watching this channel because of you, because you're the Virgo and are wondering how you feel. You're possibly telling the ex that I need space right now. OK, don't bother me. Don't contact me. Or if you haven't heard from this ex right now, give this person some space. Maybe you all broke up. Maybe it was something brief over something silly or stupid or whatever. But give each other some space. I'm always here for you. OK, despite the fact that we are no longer involved, I'm here from you. I'm here for you. I still want to talk to the kids if they need anything. You know, just let me know. OK, and they're saying I'm not the same person. I feel like you changed this person. You changed their outlook. You've changed their perspective on life and living. But right now, I feel like whatever happened between you all, it was something bad. But they're just wanting to look. Let's just take a breath. Let's just take keep this. Let's just keep this plain. Let's just be simple right now. Both of us need space. We need to clear our head. We need to we need to clear our negative energy. What does your ex need to say to you right now, Virgo? They're addicted to something, and addiction is affecting this relationship. So you want this person to get their act together or vice versa. They're addicted and you want them to stop doing what it is they're, do they're doing, what they're addicted to. And I feel like they're still doing it. That's why they want space because they're still, <laughs> they're still, um, I'm hearing sucking the glass. You know what? They're still uh, alcoholic, drug abuse, whatever it is. That's why they want to keep space. That's why they're not really wanting to talk to you because they're addicted to something. They have an apology. You can expect an apology you want to hear. Okay. Though some of them may be a half hearted apology because they still haven't gotten help or accepted the fact that they do have um, an addiction and they have regret. I I'm not the same person. I got some regrets. I got some issues in my life. You know, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Yeah, they, they do. They care about you. They still love you. And they do have this, this level of remorse. But I kind of feel like, though, you got to make the decision here. They're an ex in your life for a reason. For some of you, I can feel this is really fresh energy. You're really upset, possibly crying over this person and still feeling the love energy is there. But ultimately, you got to make the, the decision here and set some boundaries with this person. Firm boundaries are needed right now. Ultimately, this is your decision. Or if you are a, a sign watching other than Virgo, you need to make some decisions about what you want to do with your life in this person. I feel like this is fresh energy. It's like I'm, I'm picturing a steak in front of me and it's raw and, and or whatever. And you see all the blood or whatever there. And it, it, it it's just not done. I, I don't feel like things are done with you completely. I kind of feel like it is. Maybe you're eating a steak. Maybe they're eating a steak. I don't know. Maybe I want a steak. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know why I say a steak, but I'm seeing a big juicy ass steak. Whoa. Okay. But I do see they're addicted to some things. And this 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 really caught your attention and it really screwed up the connection between the two of you. I just think that this person is is telling a half-hearted truth. They are still addicted. They're still doing what they they were doing when the relationship, when you all broke up, when the relationship ended. What does your ex need you to know? They want to go on a date. Oh, oh, you know what? You could be meeting somebody new. I did see new date or something on the bottom of, let's see. Nope, support. Maybe I lost it, but I do see that there could be possibly out of this, you know, comes newness for you, a new person. Uh, you may end up meeting somebody new and this person is just going to disappear from your energy. You're meeting someone new and getting getting back out there, planning a date with somebody. I don't care how fresh or how new this breakup is. I, I think that in the process, you're going to meet somebody else. All right. Or if you're on the outside looking in, you're going to meet somebody else. 
they under they say I understand I need space right now. I'm still dealing with my motherfucking addictions, you know, addictions. And they possibly think in the back of their head, Dag, if I don't get my shit together, they're gonna walk away from me completely. Okay. I'm always here for you. I'm sorry for what I did. You know, they're interested, they want to talk. No, no, no. Let me take that back. I do see somebody coming to you. I think that you're gonna meet your next person real soon after this breakup. I, I hear six months or less. Immediately, you're going to start putting yourself out there and because I think you're done. You're going to realize ultimately that this is not the person for you. Uh, you're conversing more with people. Um, I think that when this person finally gets their shit together, it's going to be too late because you'd have moved up, moved on and wrapped up in another relationship, laying up under somebody else. They're definitely regretting you. They're regretting what they did. And, and I hear some of them may have even told you, I'm sorry, I met you, you know, and that was out of anger. All right. They feel remorse. They say, I'm not the same person. I got my shit together. And and unconditional love, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. You have this unconditional com committed connection coming your way. And this person is going to rue the day that they that they hurt you, that the relationship ended. I, I just feel like you're going to meet somebody else in the process of moving on from this person. And it's not a rebound. I think that un honestly and genuinely, you're going to really like this person and come to love this person that's coming back into this not back that's coming into your life all right but this person i don't think that they will have another chance with you i think somebody else is going to, going to come and pique your interest and 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 give you though that high vibe feeling that you're looking for or wanting but it's too late this person is is just living a, a low level energy kind of life someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting and wanting to date okay so i feel like you're going to be tied up with somebody else and it's, it's, you know, this person that they haven't gotten their shit together yet. They, they lose a lot of things, a lot of people that they love, including family. You got a lot of options. You're possibly going to date a lot, too. You know, decision. You got to make some some decisions, too. Um, I feel like, you know, Spirit wants me to tell you, don't string this person along. Don't give this person high hopes that you all will get back together. You may hook up with this person a couple of times out of need or want, okay? But ultimately, you got to make that decision here, the ultimate decision, because you have so many options. Don't settle for less when you can have the very best. Do you hear that, Virgo? Don't settle for less when you can have the very best, all right? What does your ex need to say? They regret. They apologize. But they are still they still are addicted to what they were doing. They're still addicted to some substances. Um, I don't know, too. This person could be something with meth. I'm hearing meth. Maybe they have a, a meth lab somewhere that, you know, that they shouldn't be doing anyway. But they're saying no matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. Mm. I feel like that's for you watching and also who's watching this reading. That's not a Virgo. All right. I'm hearing the song. Hold on. Ah, uh, what? Hold on. I'm hearing two songs. <laughs> I'm hearing. I'm hearing almost paradise. Um, I'm gonna put that in the comments, but I'm also hearing. Hold on. A share song. Okay, so I'm hearing two songs. I'm gonna put in the comments. One of them, the other song I'm hearing now is from from the from Pat shit from. I'm telling you, my mind is just zoo. From 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 Cher and Peter Cetera, uh, it's called After All. So I'm gonna put that song in the comments for you to listen to. I'm hearing that song in my ear. Uh, I just think this person, after all, they want you. Okay, they love you. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. See, and I'm fair. I'm not only other people, but other uh, substances was control was, was controlling your person. Okay, uh, they didn't have a good mindset. They were all stuck off in the in the addictions and the company that they kept. They were all doing the same shit. Okay, doing the same stuff. So they had a lot of things and a lot of people controlling them, and more so controlling them was their addictions. I feel empty without you. 
Okay, I'm lost. Um, like an empty pit. Like when you when you wake up or, or when you when you hadn't had anything to eat for quite a while and your stomach just growls, this person's life is just growling without you in it. It's just empty, like a bottomless pit of nothingness. But hell, they did it to themselves, Virgo. They did it to themselves. They're saying, now I told you earlier in the reading that they that they still have these addictions and they're telling half truths. They're not telling you everything. They're not sharing everything with you. I feel like this person is still on, on drugs. They're still uh, on, an alcoholic or something. And they're saying, I will take action soon. Please believe in me. Nope. I, you can get this person the benefit of the doubt if you want to, but I'm telling you, they're not telling you everything. They're not telling you the truth. They're, they're just hiding it better. Okay. And still, if they weren't able to hide it, then they're not going to be able to hide it from you now. Look, I, I hide my true desires for you. Okay. I hide my true desires and I bury them in the pit of my being because I can't have you right now. And by the only way I can I can conquer what I'm feeling for you and feeling lonely with and lost without you, I do my drugs. I drink my alcohol. I do something that's addictive to me. And I know it is. It's not good for me, but I do it anyway. This person is lost. What does your ex need to say to you, Virgo? Yeah, a breakup, separation. Stop the pattern, Virgo. I see separation here literally twice. Okay. Um, I definitely feel you got somebody else coming in here, though, um, outside of this connection or lack thereof. I just feel like this person here is who you're going to end up hooking up with, being with. Uh, I think this is going to be a real mutual attraction between the two of you. Okay. I just think you're getting back out there. You're not, you're at the point in your life where you're not taking any BS from anybody. If you love them or not, you're just walking away from what no longer, longer what no longer serves you and you're staying there. Okay. This separation was for a reason. It was toxic. It was unhealthy for you and unhealthy for them. They have to find them own. They have to find their own selves, Virgo. I said them own selves. <laughs> to your to thy to thine own self be true. And that person is not being true to themselves. They could do better. The separation, you know, you're stopping this this negative karma energy in your life. Um, I just feel like this person now they feel abandoned. Uh, you possibly are ignoring them, not talking to them or whatever. And they're missing you like, I miss you like crazy. I miss you like crazy. I'll put that song in the comments too. They're thinking about you and yearning for you. They're unsure of their future and with you or unsure with their future at all. Mm. Yeah, Virgo. Um, it's tough, but you deserve better. And if this person is not going to be that person to give it to you, move on to the next. Okay. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. I love you more than you think. I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart to love again. Okay. They haven't dealt with their pain. And the only way they can deal with it, Virgo, is through addictions. Final message. This person misses you like crazy every hour of the day. Final message. What does your ex need to say to you? An external party was is uh was entered in the, an external party was, it says is, but I'm saying was uh intruding in this relationship. And the, and the only external party I hear in my head is the the addictions. The, the addictions was the, in, was the intern, was the, um, the interference. Okay. Um, the external party that was fucked up this relationship for him and or her. You deserve better. You don't deserve no fucking scrub by somebody who is taking you down the gutter with them, Virgo. Let go. All right. Talk to you later.